So next week's class is on bananas and plantains uh, from propagation, growing, thinning, harvesting, using, cooking them green. Uh, we'll be talking about everything you need to know from field to table with bananas and plantains. Bananas cooked green are like a potato major staple crop one of the top staple crops in the world and my number one pick uh, for staple uh, tree crops here in hawaii so we've got a rack of bananas that's ready to harvest here um, we've got some that are starting to turn yellow right at the top the rats are starting to eat them i can see fruit flies buzzing around them uh, we've got some chaoti vine here growing up the bananas nice little polyculture so there's different techniques for harvesting bananas uh, this is my favorite one is taking a wedge out of the actual as the, out of the front, and then you can lower them real slowly. I'm just gonna take a little wedge out of the front of the plant. But at this point, I'm weakening it enough so I can just bring it down nice and slowly. And there, we've got the right rack of bananas down with no damage. Uh, lots of times people will try to make a banana cakey to make a new start. They'll take a really big plant like this with big leaves. Not ideal. These really small leaves and a, and a nice wide base. Uh, this is what's called a sword sucker. And this is an ideal uh, material to start with. So I'm separating back in a little bit towards the, the mother plant. So now I've pretty much separated this guy from the mother. You get underneath it and pop it up. Kind of work your way around. Loosen it up. Getting through those roots. Underneath it, levered it up, it's pretty much free. So that is pretty ideal. So it's not the cleanest cut here. So I'm gonna come back with my knife, cut that damaged material off. also gives me a chance to inspect this, make sure there's no nematode damage in the base of the cake. Oh, it looks, looks pretty nice and clean. Looking for any little black holes going in. There's a little bit there. So that's ideal, that's pretty ideal. The roots are nice and clean looking. If the roots were looking really black, you can actually trim all the roots off and trim any black nematode damage that's coming into the, into the corm. So this could be left overnight. I like to smear a little neem cake on there to deter uh, weevils. Um, but then this can be planted or you can just go ahead and plant it immediately. I'm going to plant it about this deep in a hole mixed with uh, with quite a bit of manure. Uh, so bananas really appreciate the extra fertilizer. Uh, but this is ideal uh, banana planting material. And you just want to make sure wherever you're getting your bananas from, they're free of bunch of top virus. Um, we'll be talking about bunch of top virus, uh, planting different varieties, uh, how to cook green bananas. Uh, how to harvest them, and so much more next week. See you there.